So he has two legend receivers who he'll need to have big days against Kiv's offense. And here Kiv starts off oh, uh, with special the teams error right they there. They try and go out of bounds. And so we're going to see this thing start at the 40-yard line. But for Kiv, mm -hmm. Barry Sanders, that was his halfback. It's a legend in Good. this ultimate team mode. He was amazing. He put on a show. Carson Wentz was super solid as his quarterback. And then defensively, he's got Paul Krause, who's a legend from the Vikings, mm -hmm. Earl Thomas, and then Ed Reed from the U. So great secondaries, just like you guys are used to seeing here in Seattle with the Legion of Boom. Both these players have amazing secondaries, makes it very difficult to pass the ball, and they're going to have to adjust, adapt, make reads, and continue to scout each other out as the game goes on. Excellent point there, Madden Bible, Zach Falls. And talk to Killer Mike, he also told me, Look, Kiv doesn't have Randy Moss. He thought he had a Randy Moss, and he was worried going into this championship. He said once he found out that Kiv did not have Randy Moss, he says, I'm confident. I think I'm going to win this matchup now because I'm not worried about T.Y. Hilton. Confidence and some smack coming from Killer Mike that tells me he's ready to rock and roll. But it'll be Mike on offense in the action green starting this game. Go ahead, Zach. Big mistake because T.Y. Hilton is a savage. <laughs> he definitely has to speed. And there he is. He's going deep. Oh, and he can't hold on to it there. Killer Mike looking to go up top to his Randy Moss. He does have Randy Moss there, but we'll see if uh, Kiv can uh, use the shifty T.Y. Hilton from, I guess where'd he go to school? FIU, right? Florida International down there in Miami. I should know that. And where'd Randy Moss to? takes the top off the D right there. Paul Krause with his size able to just get back into the play. Paul Krause is a legend. He actually led the NFL interceptions. For, uh, has the most career interceptions, I believe. He's a big fan favorite in this ultimate team game mode. Yes, he, he just is. saved Kiv seven points. And both these players have scouted each other. And so Killer Mike using that play on the first play of the game, maybe he knew something going into it, but Kiv just able to escape any true damage by getting the SWAT. Now it's a third and 13. Killer Mike just told me, Larry, I really will be disappointed if I don't do well. This is my championship to win and, and win it again. And he's got Ingram across coming across the middle and that's a gain of about two or three so it's gonna be fourth and long Gabe, give him five on that play fourth and eight for killer mike here's the first fourth down of the ball game killer mike once again in the action green young kiv in the navy blue two uh i guess we call killer mike a vet he actually is a vet he's in the air force so he's only 26 but the air force command post controller with his first fourth down can young kiv who's been working on that defense bow his neck and right, there he has to strike to Randy Moss, and he caught him on the left-hand side, and he, what a nice little dot right there, a great pass, and pitch and catch there for Killer Mike. And Krause almost got there to knock it loose, but Randy Moss, Held on. when you build that salary cap lineup, you have 750 total points to work with, and you spend 43 of them on Randy Moss, the 87 overall. You need him to hang on to that ball. He does, that's not what he's known for, but he steps up, makes the fourth down conversion for Killer Mike. Now, young Kiv, the offensive mastermind who put on a great performance I said Kiv are you the favorite in this tournament and he said yes yes <laughs> and he said it respectfully but Mike's the champion but Kiv knows he did more in all of the other major events so people expect him to win this thing so he puts a lot of pressure on himself and right now he, they're just kind of still feeling this first quarter of the game out five minute quarters here at the Seahawks Club championship. Killer Mike with another loss on first down. He's got two rushes for negative six yards. Takes off up the middle and he slides there. It gets down with Derek Carr. It'll be third down for Killer Mike uh, on the move with his first possession of the ball game. Of course, we talked about it. Young Kiv defensively gotten a lot better, putting a lot more effort and emphasis on that side of the ball. It's paying off. And we've got the trips to the left with the back offset to the right. Coleman in the backfield. Derek Carr in the gun. And there's that gun bunch that we will see a lot of that West Coast offense. Uh, from Killer Mike. Third and seven here from around the 40-yard line of Young Kibbs. Mike on the move, and he's got him. And Moss is running down the sideline. He can't hang on. Once again, Paul Kraus doing a good job showing up on defense. We've got another fourth down, Zach. He might only have one bar on his face mask because he's old school, <laughs> but he's got two of the biggest swats in this game that have kept Randy Moss off the scoreboard. And now Killer Mike, fourth and seven. He's gone to that play out of this Oakland offensive playbook a couple times here, and it, it's nearly got him two long touchdowns. Gun bunch to the left-hand side once again. Tevin Coleman offset to the right side. Derek Carr in the gun. 
Barking out plays. He's got to snap it here. There's a flag. Does it cost him five yards? I think it does. It'll be fourth and 12. You can't take five there, can you, Zach? And what makes that interesting is Derek Carr is his quarterback. Now, he has this ability called uh, conductor. It actually gives him one extra adjustment at the line of scrimmage. So he can do more, but maybe he was just trying to do too much, and the play clock runs out on him. Now you go from a manageable fourth and seven to a really nearly impossible fourth and 12 early in this football game. It's not where you want to be in Madden. These guys go for it on fourth downs. Competitive Madden, it's all about going for it. He's got him across the middle of the field, and it is complete once again. Who says fourth down is hard? He's got a lot of plays on that playbook, and there's Nuke the Bomb, DeAndre Hopkins, with the catch over the right-hand side for Killer Mike. First fourth down, he went to Randy Moss on the left, yep. and then he just went to Hopkins on the right. It's the same route, so Kiv will adjust to that and put it in his mental notebook of plays next time Mike gets into a tough situation. This is what he likes to do. Kiv's great because he can adjust. And if you're Mike, you don't want to be in these situations because you're, you're burning a lot of your plays early. Killer Mike doing a great job spending some money on his receivers. He says he really loves his offensive pass catchers on that side of the ball. Running back right now, that's three carries, minus nine yards, three different times. He's lost three yards, and he's back in the gun bunch. Second down and 13 for Killer Mike. Once again, the defending Seahawks, Madden 17. Madden club champion with the Seahawks in the driver's seat right now second and 13 and he's got a crosser Ooh, almost didn't hold on to that one I'm surprised he didn't get he wasn't seeing uh, little snot bubbles right there and, and, and Larry <laughs> in their game in the finals last year it was 38 to 31 high scoring affair but I heard it wasn't that close uh, Killer Mike had the advantage I don't expect to see scores in the 30s in this year's game of man the NFL 18 the zone coverage on defense is strong both these players have more familiarity with each other, so I expect it to be a tight possession-by-possession possession game. Going for Nuke the bomb, and he goes up and can't hang on to it, DeAndre Hopkins. Tactical error there. If you're watching at home, you need to hold down the X button in that situation to try and run through the catch. He held down the Y button, which made him come back to the ball, and he had an extra step on the defender. You don't have to go up and do an aggressive catch in that situation because then you open yourself up to the catch tackle. Mm. So use the rack there. You had him burnt. He seemed to have his guy burnt twice with Moss, once with Hopkins. It just hasn't paid off for him. And instead, he's going to now go for it. Remember the yes. play he's gone to He was about to punt it. So then he was going to go field goal, and now he says, you know what? The heck with it. I'm just going for it. Brandon McManus is his kicker. Uh, who cost him, he's 81 overall, so he might just be right on the edge. It would be a very difficult kick. Would have been about from about 56 yards. And he's got him again. Once again, there's DeAndre Hopkins on the out. And he gets it to the end zone. And that's a house call. How about Killer Mike? Three fourth down conversions, and that's how you do it. The Air Force Command Post Controller in control early in this one. And it's an early 7-0 lead. The Action Green Seahawks, Killer Mike. On the move, and he does a great job getting it into the end zone and nuke the bomb. Boy, he is the bomb. That was a great pitch and catch there between Carr and Hopkins. Out route, he used smart route, which is a hot route you can make. You press RB. It makes the receiver run that route to the line to gain. So if it's 11, 4th and 11, he'll run it 11 yards. If it's 4th and 17, he'll run it 17 yards. That out route is very difficult to cover because you need to really commit two defenders over there, one under, over the top, one underneath. Kiv didn't have enough resources on that side of the field, and Mike, after going on the inside for those first downs, goes outside the numbers and fools Kiv. Little chess checkers match going on yes. at the highest level here on the big stage inside Century Link. <laughs> we are live inside of Century Link Field. Want to thank the folks at Century Link and also the pro shop here. Uh, here inside of Central League Field, I believe. What if you show up? Is it 15% off or something like that? I believe at the pro shop. If it's not, don't quote me. <laughs> but I think it's something like that. If not, or you know, I'm going in there. Yeah, go ahead. Tell them. Tell them I said so. I think it's 15 percent off. The green color is the green color is working for me. That action green, I that love it. That green man. is is rock solid. That color rush. If I don't go back to the NYC with an action green pullover, I'm going to be very very upset. I came out here specifically just to get that action green pullover. That thing is sweet. So first and 10 for Young Kiv. Shea Kivlin on the move after giving up three fourth down conversions. So give some credit there to the Air Force Command post controller. Killer Mike once again trying to repeat as the Seahawks Madden Club champion. And 
he does not have as many good receivers as Killer Mike, but I'll tell you what he does have in one second. We'll see. Well, T.Y. Hilton, and he's a he's a factor on that play right there. He was not concerned with T.Y. Hilton, was concerned with Randy Moss. You brought up a good point. T.Y.'s a savage. He's a beast in this game. He's unreal in this game. That's the power up tier four. I got one in my lineup. Amazing. A kick returner. Just awesome. Carson Wentz looking to throw, and he's got a receiver off the left-hand side in the flat, and that's a gain of, uh, we'll give it no yards there, right? A little risky, Maybe but... Maybe one. We'll give him one, second and nine. Give started out 11 for 11 in his last game. Now he's already three for three. He spent his extra cap, which he did not spend on a receiver, at a left tackle and a right tackle. He's got a two gold tackles, and that can Whoa, help. Back to the flats, and Barry Sanders, instead of a gain of one, the spin, he picks up another seven. Now it's third and one. I don't think I've seen Barry Sanders brought down by the first defender uh, yet in this Seahawks Madden 18 championship. No, that spin move that you hold down the left trigger, it's a precision spin. Barry is one of the best at it. He can make multiple defenders miss. He plants that foot in the ground. He takes a hard spin back up field. What Kiv does so nicely is he sets up his defenders. He starts to run towards the sideline, and you know at any moment he's going to bust it back to the inside. Very difficult to contain. Third and one now in the gun bunch to the right-hand side. He's got his running back Sanders on the left side, and he hits him in the flat. You're not going to make that tackle. Just one little spin move, and he's always picking up two or three yards. Real quickly, back to young Kiv. We were talking to him in the pre-production meeting, and he said, look, Larry and Falls, I'm really motivated. That loss to Killer Mike it last year, it's still on his mind. I love the honesty there. He's got both of his parents here. Mom Kivlin is here. Dad Kivlin is here. I hope they're doing well and enjoying this ball game. Their son, straight Gucci, looking pretty good right now in the championship game. And Larry, think about the entire championship series. So this event, earning those points is crucial. He had a top finish at a previous event uh, in El Paso. El Paso semifinals, uh, yes. Semifinals, so he gets a lot of points for that. The more points you rack up, you're going to make your way into bigger events. The Madden Ultimate League where there's hundreds of thousands of dollars on the line. You get a thousand bucks for every win. That's what Kiv is playing for beyond just this Seahawks representative. He wants those points. Harry Sanders, what about that burst off the right-hand side inside the 10-yard line? Kiv on the move, and folks, we talk about it. He talked about the points and how it's important in the MCS, that is the Madden Championship Series. We, we, we talked about it right when we started here and got on the air, guys. You can't get in the club without the wristband, right? You can't get in the VIP unless you know somebody or you've got that wristband. And that's what those points are. They're really critical and crucial to getting to where you want to be to get into that money and get your share of that $1.1 million on the line this year in the MCS. Barry Sanders off the left-hand side into the end zone. We're tied. Young Kev with the rock. Running Barry Sanders from Madden 25 on the cover. Looking real good, and we're a PAT away from being knotted up at 7, Zach. You get inside that 10-yard line, there's a lot of defenders, not a lot of real estate. It can be very hard to score. Young Kiv, the only person that told me I love my red zone offense. Yes. I have the plays it takes to score in the red zone. I'm going to go down to the single back ace, which you saw him switch to, and it worked flawlessly for him to get in on that opening drive, tie this game. 10 plays, 79 yards on that opening drive for Young Kev to tie up the ball game. Even Steven tied at seven here. We're live here at Central League Field, home of the Seattle Seahawks. The 12s out in full force. Thousands of them coming out today. I know there's 32 other NFL clubs or 31 other NFL clubs. I'd love to see you guys try to top that. What a turnout today by the 12s in their action green and the navy blue uh, in a I guess we can call it a beautiful day here in Seattle. They didn't rain, so it's a beautiful day, right? It's excellent. It's excellent. <laughs> I strolled through the market. Didn't see any fish getting thrown, but I want to see Derek Carr slide. Slide there. Cannot take a hit. Kibbs backing his defenders off of uh, his corners. He's backing them up manually so they doesn't get burnt over the top. Mm -hmm. And these are the, the good adjustments that are going on in this football Ooh, game right now. Kevin Coleman, get off me. I'm, that was like beast mode-esque, right? Back from that playoff game uh, against the Saints back here. Uh, how about that? You can, 12s, go ahead and make some noise. It's open to the public. You guys can make some noise out there. The young kids, these Madden fans, uh, in turn, uh, becoming NFL fans, and that's what eSports is all about and the gaming. Jeff Richards and his staff here doing a great job in the marketing department here with the Seahawks. want to thank Justin and those guys, the Seagals. Blitz the mascot, Frank Clark, and 
Ode Abushi was back there signing autographs today. A huge turnout today by the Seattle Seahawks. And I don't know why anyone would be surprised, Zach, that the 12s would come out in full force. If it's an event, the 12s will be there to support their team. First class. Fourth down and two. Critical play here for Young Kiv. In the bun, excuse me, the gun bunch to the left-hand side. He's back to throw Derek Carr for Killer Mike. And once again, that's the fourth, fourth down conversion he's had. Derek Carr, of his five completions, four of them have been on fourth down, and he keeps the drive alive once again. Killer Mike living on the edge. Not an easy way to make a living with that Man. continual throw. Kiv is getting closer and closer and closer to breaking that up. He wanted that one. You could see Kip's facial reaction after yes. that play. He he made whatever adjustment he thought would would stop that. And uh, you don't want to be throwing in traffic too much. But if you do throw in traffic, throw it to DeAndre Hopkins. That's my Christmas card. All right, Tevin Coleman, his first rush of uh, positive yardage today. He's got five carries, negative four yards off the left-hand side for about three yards. Second and seven. Uh, once again, Killer Mike in that gun bunch formation. I'm uh, going to spread it out a little bit more back in the gun, and we're down to the two-minute warning. How and fast. the game we thought it would be. I mean, when you're possessing the ball like that, when you're converting those fourth down completions, when you're completing passes in bounce like Kiv's, Kiv did, the clock runs down. And that's limit possessions. Yes. Score before the half, score after the half. That's what's going to, when the, when the skill is this close in a football game, that's what's going to matter. It's, it's going to be a red zone game. Oh, over the top there, a great defense by Young Kiv, so it's third and 13. Nice tackle and sack there by Williams. You're right, the way this game is trending, folks, if you think about it, it's looking like a game where each participant, each guy will get four possessions. That's how it's trending right now. Killer Mike with the second possession. That means you're gonna have to score it. It becomes a red zone game. TDs versus field goals, and who can get that one key stop will be the one that will be going to Orlando in late January around the Pro Bowl. Uh, fighting with the other 31 club champions. And he's going deep, and he's got a receiver. It's Jerry Rice on the post, and what a throw and catch there. Touchdown for Killer Mike, and he's got a knack for making the big plays right when he needs them. And then just no emotion. How does he? I would be jumping through that daggone screen if that was me. That's not Killer Mike. I guess that's what happens when you got that cool hand on the tiller in the Air Force, man. You're just cool and calm. What part of his first game did you think any of that was possible? None. It looked nothing. His first game looked nothing like this. It's like he's been saving it for a full year. It's to his bring boy to Kiv. that texted him and said, yeah. "Here's," and he gave him notes. I saw it. It was like ten bullet points. Like, do this, do that. Don't do this. Here's what to expect. I've never seen anything like it, man. What a fabulous event this has turned into. A great stack field. A, a great venue. A great staff here, uh, an all-time great NFL club here, and what they do here in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, now you see why a lot of teams are, are trying to copy uh, what they're doing here. And there's Young Kev looking deep on the right-hand side for Carson Winston. Once again, he's 8 of 8. 8 looking of good. 8. Uh, incredible throw. Very difficult. High degree of difficulty. Young Kev, one of the best offensive players. And now he has an opportunity on this drive to tie the game leave no time on the clock, get the ball after half. Killer Mike, if his defense can't step up and stop Kiv, which nobody's been able to do, could be down 21-14 by the next time he touches the ball. And that's what we talk about with this high-level game of Madden when these guys are going back and forth. It's not if you can score, it's with how little time you can do it. If you're Killer Mike at some point, are you thinking, all right, I've got two timeouts. Do you pull a Patriots in the Super Bowl 46 in Indy and just let them score? Maybe you sneak a possession in before halftime because it's, you're right, it's on that four-possession game, but Kev getting the ball in the second half would have the advantage. You can't yet because defense is still too strong. I'm on Bradshaw. Oh, what a pick there. Oh, my goodness. That's how you read it on the on the great play there. Is that Ed Reed? I believe it was Ed Reed, huh? Yeah, and I'm going to attribute that to Kiv. That's just his – that's an unfortunate timing for his first bad read of the first entire of event. It, it was a read mistake. It wasn't something that Killer Mike did specifically, unless he made an adjustment, but it wasn't a user defense sense of play. It was just Kiv making a mistake, a miscalculation, and costing him points, and now he's got to hold Mike to no points or a field goal. There's Coleman running. Oh, you got to keep that thing up there. Maybe pick up another couple of yards, but he is on right now, second and three. I saw just a little emotion, Zach, from Killer Mike. Did you see it? He had that look like, wow. 
I think hell, I've got the ball. I, I got a chance to maybe do I something. I think he here. was surprised. He you was. don't expect to see Kiv throw incompletions, let alone an interception. Oh, will he go with A or will he go with B? He's going A and he's going down to Jerry Rice. Oh my gosh, and once again, inside the 10 yard line. What a throw again by Derek Carr, who's on fire! He's First so goal for Killer Mike, he is hotter than Nevada. And he has found a tender area of Kiv's defense, and he's delivered yes. the football there multiple times. The last two have been for huge plays. Killer Mike a little bit frustrated that he didn't get Jerry Rice to keep running with the rack catch after that because this area of the field, extremely difficult to score in. And Mike is going to have to dial something up. But he's got something on the left side of the screen, guys. Watch what Killer Mike does here. He's got a little something he brought to this event. Let's see if he uses it. Little hitch smoke screen combo, one for your uh, whole notebook. Okay, there's the hitch right there. And he takes off running. Good job. No! Oh, you want it? Don't do that! I hey, no, gosh, you've been talking about it. You don't want to run your quarterback. You have to get down. Larry, I taught the oh kids. Oh my God! I taught the kids how to slide with the quarterback earlier today. I picked up this Seahawks controller and I said, "Just tap X." And remember, guys, I said, "Whatever you do." Don't hold turbo, because your quarterback will dive. He'll helicopter in the air, he'll fumble the football, and he'll give Kiv a shot to get back in this football. I didn't say all of that, but that's what just happened. <laughs> you said oh, most no. of Oh, gosh. Look at him. He's just hes just going. That's how it used to be in real life with Barry Sanders. They're like, I'm just going to concede and just help and get here on the way. <laughs> yeah, there's, a, there's a poor Patriots defender. I think it's it was... Uh, yeah, I forget his name. To Bucky, to Bucky Jones. It wasn't to Bucky like Jones. 42. It was 45 or 47. I Play forget his or name. Something. And he's... Yes. Barry got him turned this way and this way. And that killer Mike, very smart to back everything off and he did. not go for the tackle, just let his other defenders catch up. That's good user play in Madden from Killer Mike. That's why he's the champion. Let the cavalry arrive. Young Kiv has got to be feeling pretty good right now. Like, man, I just dodged a bullet. Ooh, what a hit there by Ed Reed as we go into halftime. Trying to get that turnover chain out. Yes. Killer Mike with the lead, 14-7, but it's Young Kiv, the blonde bomber from Edmonds, Washington, right outside here in Seattle. Down 14-7, but he's going to have the ball. And here's T.Y. Hilton from FIU, Florida International. And Larry, one, wow. one possession in this football game can end up being the difference. Mike didn't trust that route that he had in the red zone on the left side of the field. He had that hitch potentially there. He decided to run with the quarterback, a miscalculation. Could have held RB to cover up, didn't do that. Instead, he dove by accident. I believe he was trying to slide and just a bad turnover at a bad time. Even if you take three there, you feel so much more in control of this game. And now Kiv has a huge opportunity coming out of the second half for a championship level drive. So it, lo it looks like we're what we were talking about, four possessions. So it's looked like in maybe uh, both guys will get two possessions this half unless there, somebody can get a turnover or something like that. But it's now Young Kib trying to hold serve down 14-7 against Killer Mike. Killer Mike, huge turnover there at the end of the second quarter. Will that come back to bite him? It, it can. It can. But Kib really, the turnover that shocked me more. The, the Mike thing, he just got in a tough situation where the red zone is. Give throwing an interception after being 11 for 11 passing and 8 for 8 passing was just a shock. And whether that's Killer Mike's defense, whether that's the finals, whether that's just one bad read and that's the only thing it happens, we won't know. But he's going to have to turn it up in the second half. You can't commit turnovers. He got back in this game. He's given a second chance, and now he's got to capitalize on it in the second half. Mike is one of those guys. He talks about confidence. He said, Larry, winning makes me expect more. Well, he's been winning. Do we expect more? Does he expect more? I think he does. We've got a good one. It's 14-7. Killer Mike with the lead. But Young Kim has the ball. We'll come back with more of the Seahawks Mad 18 Championship after this quick timeout. The Pro Shop has something for everyone on your list this holiday. People like your kid's teacher. Seahawks gear. Your barber. Seahawks gear. Grandpa. Seahawks gear. Yourself. Seahawks gear. Your new niece and her friends. Seahawks gear. Oh, look out. Find the best selection of Seahawks gear at the Pro Shop, the official store of the Seattle Seahawks. Come on, get it, yes, get it. Yes. Oh, yes. Dude, my fantasy team dominated last week. Did you see that Doug Baldwin catch? It was unreal. Bring that up. Check this out. 
Okay, this is what happened. It was third and 12. I explode off the line. I juke the defender. I see the pass. It's a little bit ahead of me. So I lay out to grab it. Soft hands, baby. As a trusted technology provider of the Seattle Seahawks, CenturyLink connects you to your home team and the power of the digital world. CenturyLink, your link to what's next. Welcome back here live here to the beautiful Pacific Northwest. We are live here in Seattle, Washington. Yes, Rain City here at CenturyLink Field, home of the 12s. 12s, make some noise. We're here inside of CenturyLink Field, home of the Seahawks. Got a huge game, Monday Night Football, the Seahawks and Falcons right here but before then it's virtual nfl and the virtual seahawks and we're in the finals of the seahawks madden 18 championship zach farley well, alongside larry ridley here um it's 14 7. young kip has the ball it's time now this is it this is going to determine who goes to orlando and the pro bowl representing the seattle seahawks 365 days that's how long you had to wait it was a not a full calendar year but he had to wait from the last chance in the madden 17 final Give loss to Killer Mike by a touchdown. He's now down a touchdown with the football. This is where you want to be if you're Kiv. Your offense is explosive. You've put in the time. You have the tape on Killer Mike. You have to deliver. Make that adjustment based on your one miscalculation in the first half. You, you got saved with a turnover, potentially. You forced it, but you want to make sure you make the most of this second opportunity. All right, let's pick it up with the action here in the third quarter. Young Kiv with the ball. He's in the Navy Blue, the Navy Blue Seahawks. Mike, Killer Mike, uh, the Action Green Seahawks. Uh, Killer Mike once again from Spokane, Washington. Young Kiv, 20 years of age, the youth. Will the youth be served today? Youthful exuberance, the blonde bomber. Yes, everything is Gucci. Got mom and dad in the house. This is my time, it's my city. Can he get revenge against Killer Mike? But we're about to find out here with the third quarter underway. Shea Kivlin. Down 14 to 7 against Killer Mike. Michael Clark, the Air Force Command Post Controller on defense. And here it is, the first play of the third quarter. Young Kiv with the ball around the 27 yard line, and he's back with Carson Wentz. Switch from Michael Vick, and it's going down with the sack. Was that Davion Clowney? I believe so. Off yeah. the left hand side, second and eight, a loss of eight yards. Zach. That's Clowney. He's got 94 plus power move. He's going against the gold level tackle, which is right in the middle, and he's going to win that battle more often than not. Kev back to throw, and he's got his receiver, Richardson, uh, the Seahawk. We'll be playing Monday night here when it's the battle of the birds, the Hawks, and the Falcons. Smart to, get a, last year's playoff. smart to get a lot of that yardage back uh, after the sack on first down. Now you got a manageable third and five, and if you're Kiv, this is four down territory. Kiv and that gun bunch, and these guys receiver. Oh, Barry Sanders steps out of bounds. Did he lose a yard? He lost two, fourth and seven. Zach, this is a huge fourth down right here for you, young Kiv. You cannot turn the ball and give it back to young or killer Mike and hope that he doesn't score this time. You have to take advantage here you got a second chance by playing him in the finals again and you got a second chance after the turnover so you're on a second chance of a second chance this is the play if you have a play for fourth and seven you call it right now Carson Wentz back to pass and he's looking he's got some space right up the middle and he's sacked before he's able to take off and run he had the receiver coming across and he had nothing but green spaces up the middle that was an error by young Kiv there and he's definitely disappointed Felt like he had a chance to scramble. Last year he had Michael Vick. Yeah. His throwing cost him, but his legs helped him. This year he's got Wentz, who has enough speed to pick that up, but perhaps just wasn't confident enough to take off. I feel like he could have got the yards there that he needed, and that one hurts for Kiv. There's Tevin Colburn off the left-hand side, the former IU Hoosier there from Indiana, playing with the Falcons, and a lot of people, of course, picking him up in Madden, and Madden Ultimate Team, a salary cap. A gain of nine yards there for Killer Mike in the action green. Now, Killer Mike, you notice he's going to keep it on the ground. <laughs> he's not going to do anything crazy. You won't see any uh, helicopter moves with this quarterback. And there's Coleman. I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to understand why he's so good in Madden. I mean, he's, he's, he's powerful. He's got good speed. He's an overall good running back. And he's number two on his team. He's a great value for his salary. That's the difference between the cap. If you don't want to spend big cap at running back because you have a lot of 
wide receiver firepower, you have to then go find a budget value back, and Coleman is the player that people look to most. He's got enough speed, he can catch out of the backfield, and you can get him on your squad for just 36 cap compared to 47 for Barry. Right. He's doing not quite as well, but good enough where you get a Randy Moss and a Jerry Rice who's, who've led to two huge plays. Sure. Hopkins hanging on to the yes. ball. Would you rather have Hopkins trying to hang on to the ball or you know a guy with a lower catch and traffic rating like a John Ross? Mm -hmm. Second down and 12 after that two yard loss will pick up about three there. So it'll be third down and about nine or 10 for Killer Mike and clearly He's being conservative here. He's seen it last time. I'm going to come away with points this time. This is serious. I want to be in Orlando. He was talking to a buddy here on the side, talking about going to Orlando. Not that he was making plans. Which parks are they going to be attending? <laughs> Clearly he was looking ahead to. He's going to Disney World. Possibly Yelled being that. down there. Third down and 10 for Mike. And he goes a high point, And he can't come down with Jerry Rice. Good play there by the safety the all-pro Earl Thomas. Is Earl Thomas the third now? Yeah, he holding, is, right? holding down that X button to swap that ball loose. Crucial play. Let's see if Kiv can go for a kick block here. This would be a big moment. So it'd be about a 30-yard about a field goal, and it's up, and it's good. So Killer Mike, he does get that two-score advantage now. He's able to convert and, and get some points off that turnover. So Killer Mike up 17-7. to Young Kiv, the blonde bomber, will get the rock here. And it's going to be Earl Thomas, the third, uh, returning the kickoff there. Earl I, Thomas has some skills, man, when he's at Texas, too, now. He does. I would put T.Y. Hilton back there, though, but maybe there's a stamina uh, issue. He doesn't want to use him at kick return and then have him be tired when he's trying to catch passes. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Just want to take a quick breather. Under 2.15 to go. And there's the toe drag swag there, a great pitch and catch. And there you can see Carson Wentz, 11 of 12, has been fabulous today. The one incompletion was a pick, although it did not cost him uh, early on in that second quarter. In, in Madden players, the reason they go for it on fourth downs is because the game is so much shorter than a full NFL game. Right. Kiev gave up the short field, but it got him the ball back much faster. Mike didn't have as much time to run the clock down before taking that field goal. They're still in the third quarter of this yes. game. You have three timeouts, so Kib is in a good situation. He just has to get some points on this drive. Doing a good job. I like his composure because you know he's pretty anxious. Oh, be careful there, but it's thrown in there, and that's a dot, and it's completed. I believe that was T.Y. Hilton first and 10. Uh, if you're Kiv, you're thinking, look, I mean, I, I love his composure. He wants this so badly. He told us he was so open about it, and I really appreciate it. Uh, that, uh, about him, uh, you know, being open and, and talking to us about that, but y you got to be thinking at this point, he's like, you know, how does he stop from pressing? You can't score 10 points on one drive, That's no it. matter how hard you try. A lot of us make that mistake. I make it a lot. <laughs> Sometimes I try and score 21 points on one drive because that's how much I'm losing by, but Wentz can't escape. Clowny. Clowny is just hauling people down and one place people don't like to spend on is their offensive line. Yes. Salary cap. They try and save there. Give didn't actually was responsible and did get some gold <laughs> players on that line. He but did neglect it, them. But Clowney's going to eat them up. Yeah, Killer Mike talked about it. He said that's his one weakness. He says, man, my old line is not good. Although they've done pretty good in this tournament. So you're right. If you can get some value there and keep your quarterback upright, that's where you probably will neglect him. There's a pass to Jerry Rice coming across the middle on that dig. And that is a first down. Carson Wentz, look at the numbers, 14 of 16, a buck 47. He does have the pick there. First and 10. Uh, young Kiv on the move, close uh, inside that red zone now. And notice he's changing his formation. When he's got more room on the field, he calls the offense we've been seeing. And now when he gets down into this red zone area, he goes to the single back ace. He feels good in it. And he's going to need it to deliver if he wants to tie this game and get closer, get it in with one possession. Empty backfield for Carson Wentz looking to the left. And he's going back to the right, and he's got a receiver. That was Hicks, right? Yeah. Is that the linebacker? The low throw. He tried to throw that earlier. He got a bad pass, but using the, that low pass mechanic, putting it where only his receiver can get it, and he's down to the two-yard line. I like Let's it. See. On the hurry up, too. There's Handle. Carson Wentz up the middle, and he is in the end zone. And Young Kiv back in the ball game at 17-13, pinning the extra point. The hometown guy from Edmonds, Washington, back in this ball game. And guys, we're going to go down here at the end of the third quarter, end of that fourth quarter. 
just like we thought we would with a very tight ball game with the winner moving on to Orlando with 31 other participants later on in January, Zach. And Larry, 17-14, young Kiv, offensive guy all last season, and he's put on an amazing offensive show today. But what he, Oh, he had space on the left side. What he had the most pride in was his improvement on the defensive yes. side of the ball from last year to this year. Last year he said, I can score anytime I want, but I can't always get that stop that I need. He let up 38 points to Mike in the championship of the Seahawks last season. This year he said, I can now get that stop. I don't have to rely on my offense. He needs that stop. He needs to prove that statement true that his improved defense can get the job done here in the finals. Both guys doing a pretty good job in the red zone now. Uh, Killer Mike also was the other guy that talked about how much he loved his red zone offense. Uh, he's proven that early on in this ball game with a three-point lead. But young Kev uh, just got the touchdown. Uh, we're going to go into the fourth quarter there with second and six on the four-yard gain by Tevin Coleman. And go ahead and put up the fours, Seahawk fans. You 12s, you're used to it here at Central League Field. It's going down to the wire. There is Blaze there, the... Blitz the mascot. What up, Blitz? We have the Seagulls here. Frank Clark and Ode Abushi earlier signing autographs into the fourth quarter. Here we go, and there's a pass. Oh, and it's picked off. Off the carom by Earl Thomas, and what a play by Shane Kivlin. Holy cow. And Larry, that is the difference. We talk about defenders that have that 91 zone rating. They play that route. It gets leads to a tip, and Earl Thomas is there in a fortunate position to make the interception, that break on the ball. Limited defenders do it, these guys stack. That is why they spend so much cap on those positions. It matters, it does. the tweaking of their lineups matter, the hours these guys put in matter, and now Kiv has the ball. Hits Jerry Rice off the right-hand side there, coming across on that dig, gain of about eight. Give him nine on that one, second and one, so now the momentum on young Kiv's side, Kenny at least tie this ball game or maybe even take the lead here down by three at 17-14. You know this is going to be a good one. It's going to be basically who has the ball last is going to win this ball game. And there's a run by Sanders off the left-hand side. Look at Sanders. Seven carries, 66 yards. That is goat material right there. 17 of 19 for Wentz. And everybody wants to go deep. They want to make the big play. They want to put points on the board. But Kib is showing you how you have the formula for a successful pass offense with the short passes, turning it upfield, moving the chains, being consistent, makes it very hard to get to the quarterback. It makes it very hard to use her, the multiple short routes. You turn those short passes into bigger gains rather than just popping on your Xbox, chucking it downfield and hoping that it works. It's all about that yak. There he is, he's got him on the corner route. Look at Jerry Rice. Does he get in? No, he's down to the one. Inside of the one, actually, it'll be first and goal for young Kiv and now Killer Mike is thinking, oh boy, the momentum has swung, everything is against me now. How can I find a way to get off the field? And there is the QB sneak and he is in the end zone. Young Kiv, Seesaw's back in front. He has the lead here in front of his hometown fans. A 21-17 lead and just like that, 14 unanswered from the blonde bomber from Edmonds, Washington. Young Kev now with the lead, 21-17, Zach. Do you think Killer Mike tightened up on his last drive? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. When you're, when you're staring Kev on the other side of the, the, the field, that can happen. You know, you know his offensive firepower is there, and you know you're only a possession away at any time. So maybe got a little bit nervous, but now... The game is in his control. He needs a touchdown. A field goal is not going to cut it. He has three timeouts, 340. He's got a potential of two more drives in this football game if he can just manage the situation. But he's got to... He has the whole world at his disposal. If he wants to run the ball or if he wants to pass, it's completely up to him. The world is his oyster with the uh, logistical situation left on the clock. And he's going back to the running game. And there's Tevin Coleman off to the left-hand side. Picks up about 13 or 14. Uh, that's a first down there. I, I wonder, though, is, uh, it has Killer Mike gotten a little gun shy? He was up 17-7. Kiv with that long drive. Comes back, turnover. Kiv gets another score. That's got to make him take pause, right, Zach? He's used, he, he's had a lot of plays, and Kiv is going to adjust the more and more he sees those plays. That fourth down throw he's been using, it's not going to work anymore. Those deep ball routes downfield, Kiv is probably going to take those away. And that's what's happening. 
Back to pass, and he is sacked. So that route on the left side of the field, he's hit a couple times, but it wasn't open in that situation. That's a testament to Kiv's ability to adjust on defense. Killer Mike went, maybe thought he had it before the snap, wasn't there, didn't want to force it, so that's smart. But you take the sack, and now it's at second and 20, you gotta start getting some of these yards back, because you're in four down territory. Hicks doing a great job, man, playing both sides of the ball. Call a nice pass in the red zone down inside the five yard line. And they're just coming up with the 10 yard sack on Derek Carr. Second and 20 for Killer Mike, trailing in this ball game. About three minutes left. We're going down to the wire. There's a good throw by Ingram. It's caught. Picks up about half of it, so it's going to be third down, not even half. Third yeah. and 13 he, there. He didn't want to dive. He wanted to rack that and turn it upfield. That Hicks that's in the middle of the field, that's Jordan Hicks. Elite, 92 overall, and has 91 zone. A defender that is going to play oh, great like a move safety. There by Ingram running, and he picks up the first down. Gain of 13 there for Killer Mike, and he's on the move. Under three minutes to go. Killer Mike down by four points. Boy, those, uh, you, you got to be biting the nails right now. Those things would, pre mine would be down to numbs right about now. Mine would be bleeding. Yeah, <laughs> this is that would be. a tough, tough moment. Do you try and make this the final drive and get that touchdown? Well, here's the deal. Can you run know, off two minutes? I guess you can if you can get a nice run game going with Tevin Coleman. 13 carries, 34 yards, and maybe punch it in. You don't have the offensive Less line. You've seconds. got the timeout. The problem. This is going to be a barn burner yeah. coming down. It's going to the two-minute warning. Killer Mike's more than happy to take it there. And we've got two minutes for the title of Seahawks Club Champion. We said it, it would come down to who would have the ball last. Right now, it's Killer Mike. Down 21-17, 14 unanswered points from Shea Kivlin, the pride of Edmonds, Washington, with the lead. But young Killer Mike, not young, Killer Mike, not old either, veteran Killer Mike. Medium age Mike. <laughs> Medium age Mike. Middle age Mike. <laughs> Middle age Mike, doing a great job. Two minutes to go here down by four second and ten for the action green seahawks that is killer mike gun bunch back in one of his favorite west coast formations uh, there with the raiders offense he's got to get rid of it he's got to receive it randy loss down and, he, and, and he is he is going for the win he is going to try yes. and win this this is like sully landing that plane in the hudson <laughs> like it's that was way more impressive but this is also in tactically impressive the margin for error that right. Killer Mike is now putting on himself. Do you go two clock here? At least you get it around a minute left or under you, a minute. You do, but he, he wants to let it run down rather than call it because then he gets more time. And he's cool with just kind of sitting there. But he is going for the win and the win only. I like it. Go big or go home. And there's Coleman. Does he go Patriots or does he score? He said, you know what? The heck with it. I'm going to score. I'm not playing any games. And now it's Killer Mike back in front by two right by two right now he's going to try and make it three he punches he it through and now the game is in Kiv's hands and if you had asked Kiv. these two mm -hmm. would you rather be on offense would you rather be on defense right both would have said offense Kiv wanted that stop that was his chance to prove that his defense could stand up for him but right now it's going to be his offense that's your bread and butter Mike going to need that defense to come one. up big for him it won him a championship last year he needs one stop what this guy's done in the club championship is amazing. It is. It's amazing. He studies the game for this specific salary cap mode, and it is paying off. And here's the guy. He doesn't have a lot of blowouts. He talked about it. He said, Larry, look, I'm not going to blow anybody out. Every game I'm going to be in is going to be pretty close. Uh, but he gets confidence from, you know, the way that he, he labs and the way that he studies and the way that he practices. And here he is, once again, with a three-point lead, about 107 left. And Kiv has, Kiv, on the move. Kiv has Graham Gano, 80 overall as his kicker, so he's probably got to get to about the 49-yard line just to, to make sure. Oh, and there's the sack off the side, and that's Jadeveon Clowney with the sack off the left-hand side, and that's a loss of eight. Kiv, that's a timeout from young Kiv. Kiv using that last timeout means this is the last drive of the game it is. for him. Second and 18. He's been masterful at getting yards back out of long yardage situations, making them comfortable. Can he do it here? Young Kiv, two timeouts running, second and 18. He hits Jerry Rice off the left-hand side. Nice spin move, still comes up short, gain of about 16. We'll call it third and two, tick, 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 tick. He's going to let it run, Smart trying play. to find a play. Smart play. He's 43 for the win. seconds. Clock's 
Clock is moving third and two. Needs about 10 more yards to get in field goal range, right? He needs to get to around the 40. That'd make it about a 57-yard field goal. Wentz back to pass, and he's got Barry Sanders off the right-hand side. Gain of about six to about the 45. 33 seconds left. He picks up five more yards. He's I'd, I'd like to see him get. Range. I'd like to see him get to the 33 to 34. Okay. Just to be safe, just to be, be there. He doesn't want to rely on that. That we had a kick block in El Paso. Doesn't want to rely on that. Got it. Graham. And he's got Jerry Rice there. Smart. Gain of about nine, and he's out at about the 31 there. So he's in range there. Second in inches for Shea Kivlin. Down by a field goal. Killer Mike up 24-21. Under 30 seconds remaining, and it's going down to the wire here in Rain City. Live at Central Link Field in Seattle. And there's a pass completed to Jerry Rice off the right-hand side. And now he has a guaranteed tied, tied game if he can make the kick and avoid a block. But he's in range as long as he does not take a sack. So now that has to be a factor. You go for the win. You, you, why, you're going to go for the, the top. You're going to go for the win, but you can't put the ball in harm's way because you're guaranteed overtime. So this is a very tricky situation for Kip. How aggressive do you play this? Do you play for overtime, which you're, you're looking good? Or do you go for the end zone but potentially risk a tip, a pick? We've seen balls bounce yes. around and be intercepted all game. Can Mike, can Killer Mike get off the field? And you got Jordan Hicks out there in a crucial moment with the football sneaking right. out of bounds. Killer Mike's loaded up with big hitters on the defense. Earl Thomas, Ed Reed, Rondé Barber, Chris Harris. Dangerous. Second down and four for young Kev. And once again, he's working those flats big time. And there's a timeout there. He's got one timeout remaining, 13 seconds left. Uh, around the 20 yard line at the 20. Got to save. inches here. Save a timeout so no matter what, you can take it with three seconds left. Looks like we're heading to overtime and fakes it to Barry Sanders. And what he's going to do, he's going to take off with Carson Wentz and he picks up the first down. We call a timeout with four seconds left. And here's the ball game right here on the foot of his kicker. Did not fumble with Wentz. That's a huge moment in yes. this game. And now, Killer Mike is going to try and ice him by taking the timeout. Heartbeat cam activated. Ba boom, ba boom, <laughs> ba boom. Graham Gano will be the kicker for a young kid. Four seconds left. Will he send this thing in overtime? And then in overtime. And Kiv's going to come out and spike the football to see if he can get around the ice mechanism. Second level stuff here from Kiv with the Good spike. There. Mike's going to have to take another time Don't out. Take another. He's got two left. Ba -boom. Ba -boom. <laughs> ba <-boom. laughs> There's the timeout, so you know we're going to get the icing. Is he going to spike it again? Double power move engaged. Is he going to spike it again? Triple spike. <laughs> and then he's going to call He's a got another timeout. And then we're going to get to about one second left, and it's going to be very risky. There's the spike. Two seconds left or right. This I is can't tell you how stuff. high level this is. I haven't seen this. One person three figures spikes. this out, and then it just spreads. Yeah. It's amazing. And the whole chat right now is probably like, oh, my God, this is unbelievable. That's where getting that first down was huge because then you have three downs to spike it. This right. is insane. He's going for the spike again. Ba -boom. Ba -boom. He, oh, he spikes. He's got one second left. What if that took two seconds? Man, that, I, you know, I don't play any games there, man. And, and Killer Mike is not in kick block formation. And Kim, that might. No, he got it. It's good. And we're heading to overtime. Woo! He tucked that bad wow. boy in off the right side. Sure did. I thought maybe he was thinking I'd get four points if I bank it. <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking, but that's ice cold, man. That's a lot of pressure on this stage. And Kiv has won the coin toss in overtime. Do you receive? Of course you do. But we saw that Skimbo in the Patriots series, the club championship, he deferred, went on defense, got a stop, and all he needed was a field goal because you got to think, on defense, can the guy come down and score a touchdown on me? If you're Kiv, you're an offensive guy, you're mm -hmm. proud of your defense, but if you kick and you never get the ball, you can't, you can't live with that. Can't live with you can't live with that decision. Can't. You put your offense on the field. Unless you're, you're a bad dude. <laughs> Unless you're a bad dude. Completion percentage. You stick with it. Barry Sanders is working. Carson Wentz is working for you. You're in overtime, and you're trying to deliver a victory to Edmonds, to Seattle, and represent the Seahawks.
All right, here's the rematch once again. Killer Mike won last year by a touchdown, 38-31, to capture the Seahawks Club Championship. Young Kev back this season, revenge on his mind. Don't want to say it's in his heart, but man, he wants this one so bad. He wants to represent Wayne City. He says, it's my time, it's my town. He's got a shot here, first and 10, from right at midfield. He hands off to Barry Sanders. He's got some room. Can he make a man miss? No, but he does pick up about six or seven there. Second, and we'll call it three, four, young kid. And if you're not certain, he needs a touchdown to win this game. A touchdown would win it. A field goal would give Killer Mike a full possession to get a field goal or to get a touchdown to win it. Carson wins plenty of time, and he's going to the sidelines. Does not hold on to it. Third down and three coming up here for young Kiff. What can you do if you're Killer Mike? I mean, he's running the ball. He's hitting he all can, of those he can flats adjust, in the He can adjust and, and play a hard flat, which is a coverage adjustment where the defender will stop giving him those short throws. But if you do that, you do risk going downfield. you got to call it at the right time. Coming up the side, and he's going down. Huge fourth down right here to be fourth and about seven or eight for young Kiff right here. Huge play call And we talked about Kiev. him not kicking. Could he punt here? Yes. Will he know because he's an offensive guy, fourth and seven? If he didn't have a play for this situation, he wouldn't be sitting in that chair right. playing for the Seahawks. There are plays on the play sheet for fourth and seven. Totally different than fourth and 17. Fourth and seven here for Young Kale. Back to pass. Mike trying to bring a press out the side order. What a great block there by the lineman. And he picked it up in a dot to his receiver, Jerry Rice. Oh my gosh, what a pickup there by the offensive lineman. Save the game for Young Kim. Wow. He, he steps up in the pocket. If you're young, you're watching this, don't roll back. Step up in the pocket, let your blockers do their thing. Surgical throw with the game on the line. Gun bunch there's Barry Sanders off the left-hand side, picks up about six. Second down and four coming up. Give him eight, actually. Second down and two. Barry, yeah, if you kill him, I can't. Barry, I'm sweating. It will, you need your defense to come up and make a big hit. Barry Sanders, elusive back. If you can square him up, he's got to be a little bit fatigued in this situation. Can you hit him? Carson wins back the pass, and he's got Sanders in a flat. Oh, and the spin move. Oh, he fumbled. Oh, he did it. You said it. You have to be careful there. The spin move the first time all day that Barry Sanders lays it on the ground. And it's Killer Mike that gets his third turnover in overtime, and now it's on the hands and on the sticks the, the of the Air Force the 12, command post controller, the 12s Killer cannot, Mike. The 12s cannot believe it. Wow. The 12s cannot believe it. I believe it. Wow. Killer Mike's going to have to go 90. He's going to have to go 60, 60 yards to get Probably. the field goal range, though. Probably. There's Tevin Coleman. Got some room on the left hand side. 15, 20. Runs out of bounds after a 21 yard gain there. Tevin Coleman with the big game. Ran for a 15 catch, 15 rushes, 91 yards. He went for the win with the Barry spin. He likes his red zone offense wow. down there. Sometimes, That's folks. Tough. That's tough. Sometimes Madden's easy. Oh, man. Sometimes Guys, it's hard. 12s, if you don't take anything from today, just remember, sometimes Madden is good to you, and sometimes Madden is not good to you. And he's got to find breaks. a way to stop this run. This run's been giving him fits. He makes good adjustments. He adjusted to his last opponent's run game. Let's see if Killer Mike goes for the win here. Ah, uh, how do you hold on to that ball that long? Second down and four, and it's a loss of 14 with the sack by Young Kiv. Young Kiv saying, not so fast, my friends. Defensively holding up well. Larry, this is a really awkward situation. Third and 18. You have to punt on fourth down because if you give Kiv the ball back, it's yeah. an instant field goal game over. So now you're managing all this stuff. You've got to get it to fourth and eight or less. You've already converted on multiple fourth downs. I don't think he has another play that can get him the yardage. He needs to make this much more manageable, fourth and six or less. Gun bunch, let's see if he can buy some time here. You know, that's what he's trying to do. Tevin Coleman offset to the left-hand side. That, that inside throw to the left to Moss. Notice Kip slid his defender yeah, out on that left did. side of the screen. He did. He's got Ingram. Well, down to the 30, gonna come up about four yards short. Let's see, I mean. Fourth and four, I think he may go for it here. He is, he's in the gun. He's not giving Kiv the ball back. No, he's not. And fourth and four for the game because Kiv would take the ball over in field goal range. Fourth and four wow. for the game. Killer Mike must convert. Otherwise, 
it could be over. Here it is for all the marbles right here, guys. Fourth down and four for Killer Mike in the gun. Back in that gun bunch. Campbell offset to the right-hand side. Derek Carr barking out the audibles. In the gun, back to pass. Fourth down and four, a huge play here. He's got X wide open. Wow, Randy Moss, you saw it. He went upfield. Great sight adjustment by Ran Yu. Right up the gut. Huge gain there. And young Kev starting to feel it a little bit, Zach. Using the right stick mm. to playmaker Randy Moss. Tell him, hey, uh, hey, cut up in the middle of the field. It's wide open. Yep. Takes the direction, delivers a dot. And now he's getting on the brink of field goal range. Needs about 10 yards. His kicker is Brandon McManus, so maybe only about eight yards. Let's see if he runs the ball. Ooh, Ooh, big hit. Wow, what a hit there. Those guys are bringing it up the gut there. Good job by Calais Campbell. And Covered him down at Miami. Dude is like 6'8". He's a big boy. And he's only 83 overall in this version. The other players on his D-line, Mean Joe Green, 75 overall. Vince Wilfork, 59 overall. These are a weak spot for Kiv, and he needs it to become a strength for him with a minute to go in overtime. Killer Mike's going to have to pass the ball here if he wants to advance the ball and move the ball. Second down and 12 for Killer Mike. Fakes the handoff to Coleman. And he's got him. Nuked the bomb. No, he didn't hold on to it. DeAndre Hopkins, it's incomplete. There he is, Derek Carr. Huge day, though. 12 of 20, 260 in the air. A couple of bombs to, to Randy Moss and uh, Jerry Rice earlier in the ball game. Third down and 12. He's got to get some positive yards yeah. here. He is not in field goal range. No, he's not. He's in four down territory. Critical third down. Third and 12 for Killer Mike. Gun bunch to the left side. Back offset to the right side. Derek Carr in the gun. Thinks the pressure's coming off the right side. Picks Locked up. and picked up well. He's got plenty of time. Not open. Nobody's open. He's got a throw and he held on to the ball too long. Great defense by young Kev there. I was looking at X and B and everybody was covered. And now I think you punt. I think you have to punt in this situation. Fourth and 22, there's, there is nothing for that. With the way the clock is in overtime, these guys, this level, the, the razor thin margin wow. between these two players. The nerve, look at that, unreal. the nerves. <laughs> and he is gonna wow. go for it. Wow, are you, are you serious? Maybe. Killer Mike? Check the out route to Hopkins. Check the out route to Hopkins on the far right. He got beat by it once earlier today. Fourth Will we have the time? Two. Will if you're scared, go to church. Here. Good blitz pick up there. Does he have time? He's got X. Once again. Oh my gosh, he caught it. Randy Moss once again. How many fourth down conversions is that, Zach? That is six or seven by my count. Fourth. Did he do it again? Mike and Kiv is crushed. He gave oh up that for once. That is six or seven fourth down conversions. And guys, I'm not talking fourth and two. They've all been like fourth and 15, fourth and 20. And here's the game. And he's going for the field goal right here. It's going to be from about 45 yards. He's going to let it tick down. Give going for the block. It's up, and it is right down the middle, and for the second straight year, Killer Mike will be representing the Seattle Seahawks. He is the Madden 18 Seahawks champion. Killer Mike going back to back, and he's going to Orlando in the end of January. Congratulations once again to Killer Mike. Congratulations to Shea Kivlin. What a ball game. The best ball game that I've ever called in a Madden tournament. Wow, what an event this has been. Larry, those two guys went back and forth all game long. Mm -hmm. The offense, the defense, overtime, razor thin margins. Wow. The difference being fourth down. That's where Killer Mike really sold this Man. game. Just put it away with those huge fourth down conversions, not being afraid to go. I would have punted, and that is why I am not up on that one. And that is why Killer Mike is your back to back Seahawks champion in Seattle. Wow. You have a chance to win. Not just the first club championship, but the second one with, amongst all teams. With all have well, a 31 great competitors, not a seven. Great person <laughs> and a great Madden player at the same time. Young, uh, Killer Mike has done it. Wow. I mean, six or seven fourth downs. I mean, Killer Mike, folks, don't get it twisted. He earned this Seattle Seahawks Madden 18 championship. He did not kind of just slide through the cracks. He earned everything he got. 
that is a championship performance right there, Zach. What a great day for that young man. Look, I know he's in the Air Force, a command post controller. Veterans Day wasn't too long ago. Memorial Day has passed. It's salute the service in the NFL. I salute Killer Mike. What a heck of a performance that was. Incredible run for this kid in these club series. That salary cap mode is proven time and time again that wow. he has what it takes. Mm -hmm. And whatever they want to say about him in the community, whether he lost to scheming or not. got to give that guy props. He has continuously done it, and he deserves to be called a champion. And for the second straight time, he is your Seahawks club champion, Larry. And he is standing by now over with Jackie with the back-to-back -back Seahawks champion. Jackie, take away with Killer Mike. Thanks so much, guys. Wow, what a game. First of all, let's give it up for our runner-up, Young Kiv. What an incredible finals we had here at CenturyLink Field. Come on, 12s, make some noise for these players. Now, Killer Mike, you guys, you were so effective on fourth down, but what was going through your mind? Why did you make that decision to go for it on fourth and 22 there in overtime? His offense was amazing the whole game. I just didn't want to give him the ball back. Now, for you, you said that you were feeling the pressure coming into this game as the defending champion. Now that it's over and you repeat, how are you feeling right now? I feel great. It was an amazing game. It was the closest game I've had on this big of a stage, and I'm just really happy that I won. Yeah, what do you have to say about Young Kiv? This is the second year in the row that you guys faced off in the final, and what a game that was. Yep, I thought he played amazing, and I think uh, he'll do great going forward. You get to represent the Seahawks once again in the Madden 18 championship. What's that mean to you? Uh, it means everything. I did it last year, and I'm going to do it again this year. All right, everyone, let's give it up for your Madden 18 Seahawks champion, Killer Mike. <laughs> Zach, cover. <laughs> Oh, pretty good. Larry, I was not expecting oh, that Betty Cannon, but I'm <laughs> going to go purchase one of those on the way home that scared the daylight. Oh, out. man, you took cover. Look at Jared Killer Mike, the Madden 18 Seahawks champion, the Seahawks Madden 18 champion there with the Seagals. And yes, you got Blitz up there, the Seahawks map. Blitz, did you change outfits, dude? I just saw him in white, and then I saw him in gray.